Good afternoon. My name is Chandra and today I'm going to show you the basic steps of using ASC timetables. So these basic steps will include how to key in the details for your school, how to key in the subjects, the classes, classrooms and the teachers. Okay. Step 1. Click on create new timetable. So after clicking on create new timetable, enter the name of school. Academic year will be this year or next year. So we're doing the timetable for this year still. So key in 2015. And then your registration name will show your school's registration name. Periods per day is maximum periods you have in the school. So sometimes it is 10, sometimes it's 11, sometimes it's 12. So I'm going to put in 12 here. So this 12, you need to add one period for recess. So click 13. Click yes. And then the number of days will be five, which is five days in a week. After this, go to bell time or rename period. So when you click on bell times or rename periods, you can key in period number one starts at what time and ends at what time. So cl double click on the first line and click what time does it start? Seven. Thirty. Two. Eight. Ten. And click OK. And you do the rest. Eight, ten, two, eight, fifty. So all of it is forty minutes, forty minutes, forty minutes. So you do up to thirteen, and then you click OK. After that. Click next and fill in the blanks. So what word would you use in your school? Course or subject? We click subject. Uh, students organize into classes, groups like that have the same near schedule. Yes. Some of the students have individual schedule based on their course requests. No. We can use options. Students can select one subject from nope. And we have multiple buildings. So if you have such a few buildings which is very far away, we can click on yes to make sure that some teachers do not have to run away from one building to other building and waste precious minutes and times running over. So click yes. And click here to define the buildings. So enter, add, enter the title of building one, or block, block A, block A, and click OK. And probably block B, and click OK. So class has to be in one building the whole day. Not necessarily. Number of periods needed to transfer between buildings. Maybe you need at least one period or two periods. So you put it one example. Click OK and click Next. Enter the subjects. Click on New. Enter Bahasa Melayu. If you notice, the short form will come out from the first letter of each word. So click OK, enter another subject, pass in grace, click OK, and so on. If you notice, you have to put something here, so you can't just put one letter here, so max, and click OK. So after this, click Next, 
enter all the classes name. So click new. Satu A Satu. Click new Satu A Dua. Click new and so forth. Tiga A Satu. And then click next. Enter the classrooms. These classrooms could be any rooms used for the subjects. Example, it could be the student has to go to, uh, to the library or well, you have this. The student has to go to the science lab, physics science lab. So click new, magma physics. Mal fees. Click. Okay, okay. And here, where is this room situated? In block A or block B? And click. Okay. Click new. Padam. PDG. And click. Okay. And so forth. Click next. Oh, before clicking next, click on generate. Generate what you'll do is it will create a room for each of the classes which we have created here. We've got three classes here. So now click generate. Say yes. It will have automatic home classroom automatically created. So click next <coughs> and enter all the name of teachers. Example, here you can choose to either fill in only the last name or the first name. Do not fill in both. So I'm going to choose to fill in the last name. So click name. Sandra Jagrat. Short form CS. Is this teacher male or female? It really doesn't matter. You don't have to fill this in. But if you want to, can. No problem. Email, phone number, <laughs> I'm not going to give you my phone number, neither am I going to write in a phone number because it's not really, really important. So is the class teacher for a class? Yes. And you click 1A1, click OK. So that's how you put in for a class teacher. Likewise, if the teacher has his own room, you can choose the room or if you want to change the color and add in a picture, it's not really, really important. Neither, neither it is necessary. You don't have to put it. It's just an accessory. Click OK. And what is this teacher teaching? So click New Lesson. Choose the subject. Choose the class. How many times a week? So English will be three double period. Example. And where will this take place? In the home classroom. So click OK. And finish up all the subjects this teacher is teaching. Once done, click close and go to next. Next, you're done with the timetable. So what you can do is click on generate timetable. So before generating timetable, first thing you have to do is make sure that your timetable data which you're keyed in is all correct. To do that, click on test the time table. Everything is successful. Click OK. Click OK. And now make sure strict is selected. Click on start timetable generation. Uh -huh. Here it says your timetable specification is probably not completed. That's because we added three classes in one subject and one teacher. A few, three, two subjects and one teacher. So it's not important. I mean, it's not uh, completed. So it doesn't matter. It's just a sample only. So click OK. And yippee! You have your timetable done. That's about it. This is how you key in your data for your timetable. Thank you very much. 
look forward on your next online course. See you.